Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And what Primark has taught us is that the great British public still likes to promenade, i.e. queue and peruse. And the stock of Primark parent company associated British Foods is definitely benefiting from this relative back to normality. So Primark is high street only. But Boohoo is not. It's online only. And will its trading update on Wednesday mirror what denim dress seller Susanda highlighted last week that browsing behaviour is up, but it's not converting into sales? Well, I doubt that's what investors are interested in, because as Business Live reminds us, Boohoo has had a turbulent few weeks. It's involved in a controversial buyout, it's been hit by a short seller's report and boss John Little has been awarded a £1 million payout as compensation for payments he forfeited when quitting Primark to join Boohoo. Well, it's Kingfisher's full year results on Wednesday as well. This is the company that owns B&Q and Screwfix and it may give a gentle nod to the sales of compost since lockdown eased. Who knew peat would be the new gold rush. Now in March the company announced it will not pay a final dividend to shareholders for its 2019-2020 financial year due to coronavirus-related disruption, and it has also drawn down on its two revolving credit facilities. Whitbread 2 has its trading update on Wednesday, and IG's Aaron Fronda writes that investors are growing increasingly concerned about the prospect of a second wave of coronavirus cases that could spell disaster for the company. However, the glass of Motley Fool's Michael Baxter is half full. He says the company's recent £1 billion raise means it's cash rich and can act quickly if any opportunistic bargains become available. Well, Thursday, I will be looking at the investor updates from Hornby and Carnival. Well, has the model railway maker been a beneficiary of lockdown as those with time on their hands become train spotters in their front rooms? I can see there's been a run on the South Eastern Class 395 Hornby Visitor Centre. And with endless repeats of Triangle and Kate O'Mara posing topless on the deck of a very large container carrier, people have started to hanker for adventures to Felixstowe, Gothenburg and Amsterdam. Now, whether Carnival sees value in such a route remains to be seen. And we may get an unusual update on Thursday as the company evaluates how it can re-enter the FTSE 100 after losing its ranking this month. And for the rationale behind the merger of Columbus Energy with Bahamas Petroleum, listen to Chairman Leo Coote explain to lse.co.uk's Donald Leggett why it's a clever, intelligent deal. I believe it's a very clever deal which uh, allows us to weather the Covid storm whilst creating value for uh, our shareholders uh, and Bahamas shareholders. So uh, I do believe this is a, a very clever, intelligent deal. And the fact that no one's seen this coming in the market uh, speaks to that. And I hope you are weathering the COVID storm. Stay well. Till next week.